Hey, what's up guys, Alone here. So, I haven't really posted any gameplay on my channel. Oh, by the way, this guy is uh, Hanzo One Trick, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, I haven't really posted any uh, gameplay on my channel. I've posted a lot of guides on, like, how to get better at Symmetra and tips and tricks on all the different things, like... Hey, what's up guys, Alone here, and I haven't really posted... Hey, what's up guys, Alone here. So, I haven't really posted any gameplay footage really so far on overwatch that's something i wanted to do and i'm going to be doing that in this video and if you guys like it then please let me know and if you want me to talk less during these videos or more and all that and what you want me to talk about please leave that in the comment section below and if you think this is just boring i don't want to see this then let me know that as well i'm going to be playing Symmetra on my attack and defense on dorado and well this guy, as I said, call me Snacks. He's a Hanzo one trick, but I know him, so he's actually pretty good. So that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, this comp is not the best for Sumetra. Um, I this guy thinks that we're throwing, not really though. And uh, so yeah, basically, um, this comp is not that great because uh, we have two healers, and one of them is uh, Mercy, who heals a lot, and then we have Lucio, which is good with Sumetra. But the problem is, three supports and one Hanzo DPS is not that great. Um, you rather want to, have to, want to have like a Thara or a Soldier instead of the Hanzo, or have me swap to maybe, I don't know, a Thara or Soldier, I don't know, something else. But the thing is, with this comp, we don't really want two healers. You want maybe an Ana healer, okay, that's a lot of stuff out there. I'm going to just wait here for a sec, alright. So, my main objective in this map on attack is to get either a shield generator or a teleport drop and my teleporter is way more valuable usually so i'm going to try to go for that but it all depends on my team so with this team i probably have to go with a teleporter because we don't really have any hard carries uh, for example a trace for genji that can benefit massively from a shield generator and the enemy team is running some really annoying stuff so pushing through this might be hard with this comp but we will have to see um, so I'm going to be trying to just build alt basically that's my main objective now This is a good thing. I usually do I go up to the right side uh, left side I mean <laughs> and try to build stuff like this and try to get a pick with it And that's what I'm going to get so now that I have a pick I'm just going to back off and hopefully not die and I die all right, so I didn't get out but It's decent I guess because we have closer spawn So it's not that bad and I even got rest so it's really worth it now I'm going to be killing this McCree blocking the stun and this should be a kill on the McCree. Okay, so now that I have my TP, I'm just going to use it because it's going to get refunded anyways. So I'm going to be using it right here. And we should have a spot, really hardcore spawn advantage. And I'm putting like all the turrets here so we can really secure this point. And now we should be able to kill the Junkrat. Maybe not, he has a shield generator HP buff. So I'm just going to try to play uh, safe here. And build as many turrets as I can. It's probably coming from behind, never mind. Wait. Where did that go? I didn't even see anyone kill it. Maybe someone did kill it. And there should be kill on the Junkrat because he's jumping into my turrets. Alright, that should be the first point. So, you can see my ult charge is already at uh, 70 because we didn't use all the TP charges, so I'm all good. So I'm just going to try to build my uh, ult again. And where I'm going to be placing my next TP is in this house to the right, like this one. Uh, it all depends on how well my team is doing in the first team fights, though, because if they do really well and we just win and push through before I get my ult, I can place my TP in that house over there. And um, that, by the way, the one I'm looking at right now. Um, and that's even closer to the actual point we want to get to. So I'm going to have to block this. Blocked it. And unfortunately, Lucio died, anyways. Um, so yeah, I might have to place it in the house right here. Oh, he got solo rest. I'm just going to try to set up here, because I don't think we're going to win this next fight. We might though, because our Hanzo is actually owning. Alright, so I'm going to place my TP in here, and I'm just going to go on the flank. See if I can get any picks. Alright, so that's a good TP, because um, those people die now. So I'm going to wait just a sec, and apparently they're going for the TP. I don't really care that much if... Uh... She altered it! Okay, this is maximum value, boys. I basically baited, I got a kill, and I got a Graviton, and they didn't even kill the TP, so that's going to be like free push, alright. That's like, okay, that's one of the most valued TPs I've had ever. And I'm just going to put so many turrets out here, okay, push the payload, so we can secure the point, and that's something I love to do, and I'm just unlucky. Um, 
So that's something I really like to do. Uh, when you've pushed to a choke and you know there's going to be a fight soon, then you can just put all the different turrets around the choke and you're never really going to lose those fights because they have to rush out and they're just going to rush into a bunch of turrets and die. So yeah, that, that's a really good thing to do if you play Symmetron attack and it's really, really effective. And it works the same on 2 CP as well. Um, you know, when you're capturing a point and you're having a team fight and you just put all the turrets outside their spawn and they can't really get out. So it's like really good for denying 2 CP stalling and, and all that. So usually when we go here, I used to put all my turrets in this room because I know that the healers usually go in here. They try to get the health pack and all that. And you know, in team fights, people want to hide behind something and this is a good place. So I'm just going to secure this area so they can't. And I want to try to build my ult. And this is for sure a TP spot. My team is a good team. So um, I for sure want to use teleporter and now I'm dead. I might get soul rest though, she's been doing a lot of soul reses. Oh, yeah, I might. You will have to see. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Alright, so I can still get picks with all those turrets in that room if like a healer walks in there. So that's why I really like it. Like even if I'm in spawn, it's they don't really expect it and they're like, okay, I'm just gonna go get a mini pack and then they just get destroyed. Alright, so my turrets might get destroyed here because my entire team is dead and when like maybe a tank goes in there Really? They have a Pharah? I didn't even notice they had a Pharah. They must have swapped recently Alright, so she's getting late picks. There's actually no one going into that room Locking some shots just trying to live so I don't get really really stalled here Yeah Oh, I should have backed up further, kind of throwing. Alright, so we have a pick, and I almost have my TP, and that's going to be big, because then I can go into that room where I have all my turrets and just place the TP. Or, actually, um, I prefer to place it on the high ground, so I'm going to be going on the high ground now, actually. Uh, you can place it down, but it's mostly if your team has pushed the car to that point, and it's not really right there yet. So I'm just going to... Oh, Mercy is a free pick here. Pretty nice. She rests for that? Okay, she's backing into my turrets. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to use my TP up here now. And now hopefully we can win this team fight. So I'm going to swap my turrets up. And this guy is feeding. I think. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure though. And she bombed it. That's... She killed herself. So we're probably going to win this team fight. Because she just... Yeah. I mean, you can, you can bomb the TP, it's not bad, but if you don't get another kill with it, it's not that great. Um, because the entire team was there and they could have just killed it. And just live here. Who is behind here? There was someone behind there because all my turrets, were, turrets went off. Let's see if we can win this team fight. I should just be doing damage now because uh, I need to do that. I need to do a lot of damage now. And we're dead. Yeah, so this is... Oh, we're going to get rest. This is really nice, actually. So basically, uh, this point is kind of hard, uh, unless you get a really good TP. So I assume it was... I, I guess it was pretty good by the... Um, just going to kill the Ana here, and I'm going to... Trying to get a TP up here. And maybe we can get some people through, because it looks like we're going to be winning these team fights. And just having like anyone get through is worth. That's, that's worth. That's so worth. And now I just get all my turrets up and we should be good. We should have it. Um, by the way, why I put my TP there when it seemed like I was going to die uh, was because I noticed that Lucia was, was, was with me, if I can speak. And uh, <clears throat> that means I'm not going to instantly die and he can peel a bit. So she can't kill the TP. And also Saria can't really do much. She had maybe like 45 or 50 energy. And so um, she can't really kill the TP instantly. And also, as I said, I was getting heals by the Lucio and the 45, 50 energy. Sorry, I can't really kill me that quickly if I have heals. So I thought, yeah, I'm probably going to live here. And my TP is going to be able to be up for at least the amount of time it needs to port one or two people through. And then, yes, it's worth it. So I felt like that was, you know, it was the last fight as well. So it paid off in the end. And yeah, let's go to the defense round. Alright, so on defense, I like to place all my turrets pretty far up because this is a good Pharah map and if they have a Pharah, that's going to really annoy her a lot and she needs to focus on that and also a flank turret here if they go on this side and it's rather hard to see right there. 
And all of the other turrets are mostly on the left side because that's usually where the Pharah would fly and flank or try to stay above if it's a good Pharah. Just stay around the house and all that, all the roofs and yeah, it's going to just, like be really annoying for her. And also just having them high up, like close to something else makes it hard for enemies to see it and focus it because they need to look upwards and that's really annoying in this game. So apparently they have a tax sim as well. Um, my objective here is to get TP really fast because my team is absolutely getting destroyed. So I'm going to get that up. And we sh we have a pretty decent comp here actually for defending. Um, sorry if you hear anything in the background by the way, neighbors are going ham. Alright, so someone is already on the TP, but it's a Ryan. So it's a free kill. It, Ryan is a free kill. Always. Yeah, there you go. So uh, Ryan, facing Ryan is really nice as a Symmetra because there's so many things you counter at him. Uh, you can just charge your weapon up on his shield and you can also um, block his earth shatter with your photon barrier. It's just really nice all around the board and you can get so much ult on him as well by just shooting these uh, right clicks into his shield and into him. There's like, like nothing he can really do. I think they should really swap their Ryan if they want to have a good chance to maybe a Winston. Winston would actually destroy our team. So they should just go dive. Like their Tracer uh, should should get help by a Winston and they probably just destroy our team. Alright, so they're actually destroying our team now because their soldier apparently got ult already. Okay, so Tracer is behind. I'm just going to place some turrets like around here. So if she jumps me... Alright, so she's probably gonna kill the TP, not much I can do about that. I don't really wanna engage Tracers much at all. She didn't kill the TP, that's interesting. I'll put some turrets here I guess to try to defend it, because it still has 3 charges so it's worth defending. Alright, so let's see if I can get a flank here, or Hanzo is actually owning. Okay, so, like, th th this is why I like facing Ryan. I can just charge, 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 and he's dead. If he doesn't go aggressive enough, he just dies. Because I can just charge up my weapon so much that I can just kill him. Instantly. And um, if he takes down his shield to swing at me, it's just free free game for my team, you know. They can just go ham on him and destroy him. So we might have a ho full hold here actually, which is interesting. And when I, I usually play with another guy who plays a lot of Torb and he plays it really well. Uh, attack, like... Torb and Symmetra on this map is like free win every time because um, you can put shield generator and give armor to everyone and it's really really hard to push through this choke then so, because like I have 350 HP then a Symmetra which is like insane I can't really ever die okay that's a wasted graviton because they're all gonna just die they were already a lot of people down so yeah and uh, by the way them killing my TP there I don't know if they killed my TP or if they used all charges but if they would have killed it, it would have been waste and you need to really really like count the enemies that has used the TP in the enemy team and whenever I face a Symmetra and he places a TP I always try to count how many people have used the TP because if it's one charge and you kill it that's not worth it like just ignore it at that point um, if it has maybe two charges three charges anything like that then yes you might want to consider killing it but otherwise just don't uh, it's not worth it because killing it makes me able to build another teleporter and if it's just sitting at one charge that's like beneficial for the enemy team almost so yeah okay let's see if i can get a new tp here that's going to i'm not even gonna participate in the fight okay i need to put this tp otherwise you know i'm just gonna die anyways so i just want to get my tp up i'm just going to annoy this tracer i actually killed her that's interesting Okay, blocking. Okay, we're actually owning. My team is owning. My Hans is especially owning, and I just got owned by a charge. But we still have TP, so we're all good. And I got an achievement. Interesting. What type of achievement is that? <laughs> Huge success. <laughs> Alright, this was a pretty good game. Our Hans is nuts, and I know him, so yeah, kind of uh, <laughs> expected that. But yeah, that's a good game, and I hope you guys did enjoy the tips that I gave during this video. Uh, if you have any, you know, uh, questions, then I can answer them. And I want to make, like, this type of gameplay videos for all maps and all that. A uh, bunch of different games as Symmetra, because she can be massively, massively powerful and just carry games hard if you know how to use her. And that's why I love uh, playing her, because she just feels like the most carry potential in the game. 
But obviously there are games where you can't play Symmetry if you get hard counter and all that. Our Hanzo is insane. What the hell was these hits, man? Alright, thank you guys for watching. And if you did like it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this type of content, then as I said, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.